Multiplying integers. We only have two rules in multiplying integers. First, the product of integers with the same sign is positive, while the product of integers with different sign is negative. Let's have an example. First one, 7 times 3. They are both positive. Since they have the same sign, your answer must also be positive. So 7 times 3, that is equal to positive 21. Then second one, negative 2 times negative 6. Both are negative. They have the same sign. It means your answer is also positive. So 2 times 6, that is equal to 12. So your answer is positive 12. Another one, negative 10 times negative 5. Both are negative. They have the same sign. So you will have a positive answer. 10 times 5, that is positive 50. Another one, 8 times 4. Both are positive, so your answer will be positive 32. Now here, if you have different sign, your answer must be negative. Let's have examples for that. First one, 5 times negative 3. So they have different sign. It means your answer will be negative and 5 times 3 is equal to 15. How about this one? Negative 4 times positive 4. They have different sign. So your answer must be negative 16. Another one, negative 7 times 9, different sign, so you have negative 63. Okay, for the last one, we have 2 times negative 12. So they have different sign, it means your answer must be negative, and 2 times 12 is equal to 24. Again, let's recall, if they have the same sign, your answer is positive. If they have different sign, your answer must be negative. Let us have more examples. What if we are multiplying not only two integers, but more than two integers, like this? So we are multiplying 5 times 2 times negative 3. So let us multiply first 5 and 2. Okay, 5 times 2, that is equal to 10. Then multiply it with negative 3, with this one. So 10 times negative 3, you will have negative 30. How about the second one? So we have negative 2 times negative 1 times positive 4. Let us multiply first negative 2 and negative 1. When we are multiplying two negative integers, the sign must be positive. So 2 times 1 will be positive 2. Then multiply it with positive 4. 2 times 4, that is equal to positive 8. The technique in identifying the sign of the product, if you are multiplying more than two integers, you just have to count the negative sign. If the number of negative sign is odd, ano yung mga odd numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, your answer must be negative. But if the number of negative sign is even, for example, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, your answer must be positive. So dito, sa unang example, isa lang yung negative, 1. And 1 is an add number. That's why our answer is negative. Well, for the second example, we have two negative signs. So yung 2 ay even number. Kaya ang answer natin ay positive. Now let's try that in the third example. How many negative signs do we have here? We have three negative signs. And 3 is odd number. It means your answer must be negative. Now, let's multiply them. 3 times 4, that's 12, times 5, that is 60. So, we got negative 60. How about here? Count natin yung negative sign. So, we have two negative signs. Ang 2 ay even number, it means your answer will be positive. So, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 will give us 1, and it will be a positive 1. Now, for the last one, let's count the negative sign. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 negative signs, and 5 is an odd number. It means your answer must be negative. And multiplying 1 to itself will just give you 1. So your answer is negative 1. Again, review. Just count the negative sign to know the sign of your product. So here, we have 1 negative sign and 1 is an odd number that's why we got a negative answer but if the number of negative sign is even like here we have 1 2 
two negative signs and two is even number. That's why our answer is positive. Well, for the third one, we have three negative signs and three is an odd number. That's why we got a negative answer. Fourth one, we have two negative numbers. Two is even number. That's why we have positive answer. And for the last one, we have five negative numbers and five is an odd number. That's why our answer is also negative. Okay, so if the number of negative sign is odd, your answer is negative. But if the number of negative signs is even, then your answer must be positive.